so create a page like uh, expression page dot al with the extension al which means that you are going to type the al language okay so this you can create it by right clicking here and uh, click new file to create this page expression page you can name it and now we are going to create a page so type p p page where you will get this snippet okay this is a default snippet where you have to change this id okay so you can uh, provide the id here and uh, you can give the name as well okay i'm just going to give expression page and the next step which we have to we are going to do is what you have to check whether the page type is set to card okay here the page type is set to card and then you have to check whether um, and set the usage category property to the documents here it is like an administration so here i'm just going to change it as the documentation okay so once if you type it will get you will get it and we are not going to connect with any table so stable we are just going to execute a simple page so i'm just deleting it okay and then um, you can add the caption for this so you can create a caption like expression logical expression card okay expression card or logical expression page okay so you have to end up with the semicolon or else it will show error in the next line and once you are done just you have to directly go to the variable that is the var where you have to set the global variables here the de by default it will be my integer you can delete that and you can start creating your own integer so i'm just going to give number one and that is my integer so you can create it as an integer i'm going to declare num two numbers okay number two and this is also an integer and the third one is what my result where i'm going to create it as a boolean okay so these three things you have to declare and as a global variable okay and then you have to verify now we can just go back to the content area which is which should be inside the layout page and then you can create the field name for that okay you have to create two groups one is for input and second one is for output so the group you have is for uh, uh, you can rename it as an input and also you can create an another group for output okay you can create an another group for output so here you have to create two inputs we have created two numbers right so that you can create it number one so once you type it it will automatically come and this um this is result right r e s mm, sorry this is the group name this is output okay and we have to create for the second field as well let us create that first number 2 this is for number 2 right so number number 2 so it will automatically create like this and this is in group uh, that is for output for output you have to set what res okay you can create like res fine so this group we have to create because it will create the value to value options okay that is what got it so input and output and you can set the caption property for that group so you can just enter here and write caption and this is an uh, to get get the use sorry single quotation get the input from the user input from the user and in the output um here you can set the output caption like okay you have to end up with a semicolon so don't forget that or else it will show the error in the next line so once it is done you can uh, that is you can add the uh, result okay so we have to create that no in th in this you have to create the result okay 
so here we have to create the t page field so here where we have to create see we have to add the fields for value 1 and value 2 to the input group and the result field to the output group that is what we have did okay so then we have to create the t page setup okay then you have to check whether the application area is set to all okay and everywhere like what wherever you have used and in the in the output you have to use the editable editable is set to false okay the result set to false and then because uh, no uh, there should not be any editing uh, should happen there no so that you have to be very clear and uh, then we have to go to the action action which is the area it is in the processing and now we are going to change the name of the action name as run okay so run and here you have to write the trigger now in the execute like in the trigger on action button we are supposed to write that is we can create a caption here that is caption it should be like execute or run we can write the run as the caption and then the image you have to set the image that it should be execute batch okay so you have to set the image as execute batch and also verify that it's the application area is equal to all is set and on the action trigger inside the begin we have to start writing the query let like that is res um so as is number one is less than number two so what is the value is see if the number one is less than number two then the toggle will uh, will enable okay if it is not less than two then the toggle will not enable okay this is all the logic so once it is done we have to check if we have any error here okay so we don't have any error so let us save this and execute this now let us execute this code okay we have created this complete code let us execute this so you have to press ctrl f5 you can see that this message like it will be authenticating it will authenticate the user and then it will slowly launch in a browser to show up the page so remember your page you have to check with the logic so yeah it is opening now okay it will open up your dynamics 365 business central where we have to go and search for our expression page okay so let it launch so once it is launched you have to go and search here okay in the search bar you have to search your page okay so our page is so it will search this is what our page caption that is logical expression page which we have given here okay so select this click this so what happens see this is what the number one we have selected we have created and this is what the number two we have created see i'm giving and this is the action button if you click here it will show run okay and see the result which is in by default it is toggled off okay we are here to check the uh, less than number the, that is the number one i'm giving 10 and number two i'm giving 20 okay if number 10 is less than number 20 then you can go and select here run where you can see that the result is toggled okay like it is on okay now i'm going to give 100 and here 20 okay let it be 20 and if i execute run you can 
see that it is toggled off got it see if it is less than because according to our code we are checking the less than okay there is a lesser uh, which number is less than of both okay if number one is less than number two if it is the scenario then what happens this result will toggle off okay toggle on if it is not less than it if it is greater than then it will toggle off okay and i'll tell you one more thing see why we have given here like editable is equal to false okay now let us see what happens if i didn't give this property okay now let us close this okay and uh, just changing i'm not i'm just deleting this editable is equal to false and i'm saving this code you have to press control s and then press control 5 okay let's see what happens if i didn't give editable is equal to false so it's executing okay now go and search for the logical expression just press logical it will give the logical expression page now see i have given editable is equal to uh, that is i have uh, given editable is equal to false so see you can edit this right so what happens you will get confused okay what is happening here so that is why we have used here what editable is equal to false in the output okay that is in the output field you can set this editable is equal to false which means that you cannot edit the result you got it so let's try this mm. okay logical expression logical expression okay okay i haven't refreshed it i'm sorry so here we have to again refresh it okay save it control s and control f5 press control f5 where it will launch it Okay, now if we go and check here, okay, logical expression page. Now you can see here that you cannot edit it. If you click, you can't edit it. Okay, so that is what. And then, see, since we have declared the res as boolean, that is why by default it is showing that as a toggling control okay and whatever you are giving as an input that is a, as a caption that is appearing here okay this is the caption property fine and inside that in the caption uh, we have given run so that is why it's showing run okay and number one and number two we set as a integer that is why it's showing like this zero by default it will be like a zero okay so you can see the complete code here wherever i have changed this is a simple page which evaluates the logical expressions thank you for watching